arm, but I'm not sure if he saw this Nyx pick coming. We do love a Nyx. Again, more blasters, baby. The end of this bracket, I'm loving it. Yeah, this is definitely a wild pick from Sandstorm. Again, Sandstorm just kind of playing around. This is a very confident Sandstorm that's willing to start off with some different picks, but he'll still have some similar stuff, right? He'll still have the site that he's known for, and he's starting oh, no. off big. Doesn't hit the recovery, though. Cody gets the wall touch. And it's still going, though. This is what's so scary oh, no. about oh, an hey, excellent holy. Scythe player, dude. Sandstorm oh, Scythe is through. so nasty. He gets through, doesn't die, but then he goes into Oh no, that KO'd! Oh, what an opening for Sandstorm, he's too sick! What a big start for a Sandstorm. Cody Travis did a good job surviving in all of that, but still immediately jumps into the end sig, and now he's got a big hill to climb. And one thing that Sandstorm is doing really well is he's playing that skin on Nyx. That is one of the hardest skins on Nyx. The other one, of course, being Surfer Nyx. I'm sure everyone in chat and Twitter will disagree with me, but they're wrong. And it seems like it's powering up Sandstorm, giving him a little bit of extra strength here. Ooh. Cody does find the down signature, so he's not too far behind as he gets into this one. Cody's got all the strength he needs, but we've got both Banes, right? They both put on the masks. One just likes fava beans more than the other. Cody Travis, with the axe in hand, is going to struggle a little bit against the scythe of Sandstorm. As Sandstorm, again, has him on the wall. See the dash jump pivot ground pound coming over the side thing. It's just a whiff. Cody finds one hit, but then Sandstorm finds three or four. Classic Sandstorm moment. You get the hit, you might feel good, but then you're going to feel real bad real quick. Yeah, I mean, his his average damage per engagement has got to be off the charts. As it's a D-Light dash jump recovery, and Sandstorm looking very good and ready to take game number one. There's the side light. You see the dash up turn around neutral light. Cody does find a hit, but then he's going to take a down light and a downer oh. and a side light. Read the dash through. Cody Travis, though, manages to escape all that pressure. Sandstorm feeling comfortable on the wall. He's even playing high on it. Based on what we've seen from Cody, there hasn't been too much edge guarding unless Cody's actually the one sent over on the wall and his opponent is the one who pushes that offstage engagement. Yeah, Cody generally likes to sit on stage, doesn't even throw out like a dash jump fastball down air, which is one of the few options that Blasters can have in that situation. Instead, Cody just kind of sits back, waits for the opponent, and that gives Sandstorm a lot of room to sneak up onto that corner as he hits the recovery, and he's one hit away from taking game number one. Sandstorm's so good, dude. There's like several times, like when we actually get into the grand final set, that we're wondering like, oh, is this going to be the time? Is the, is the dynasty over? And time after time, it's always just like, well, at least so far, it doesn't seem that way. I get upset watching how good Sandstorm is because someone inevitably is like, bro, they're so biased. And it's like, what do you, did you see the same game? He so, just destroyed. Sit down. Sit he down, just chatter. He off. <laughs> sit down, chatter. Like, you see the earnings. You see the gold. You see the silvers. You see the bronze. You see the top 32s, the top 8s. Literally everything you can gush about on Sandstorm because he's just that good. Look how he's opening this one up, forcing Cody oh! onto the Reno pick. A classic Knicks option okay, that they okay. love to fish for. Sandstorm hits those. That is the Knicks dream, that that slide charge end sig. They love to go for it, and Cody is struggling. He makes the swap to the Reno, hoping the orb is going to be the thing to help him out against Sandstorm, but Sandstorm is still hitting his shots. There's the recovery KOs off the top. I'm surprised that KO'd, man. Cody at a loss here, even with the character swaps, taking so much punishment. If anything, even more punishment than before. And again, spawns back in. First two hits go the way of Sandstorm. Does find the side air, only a Sandstorm in yellow. Cody having to fight back from so far, being this far behind. Has Sandstorm in the orange. That's a nice side air. Again, his zoning side airs have been so good. I think Taza mentioned that earlier about how good he makes side air look on the blasters. Yeah, I mean, it's got great reach, great range, but sideline side air from Cody Travis is still not enough to get this stock off of Sandstorm. He has him in the red, and the side airs are not even going to put him off screen. Nice down air, and he gets the turnaround neutral air as well. Sandstorm's read on the movement is so good. He finds safe options all the time, it seems like. Yeah, he's just... Getting follow-up after follow-up. Cody Travis not able to get this one. The down air. The first time he really throws a hitbox on the edge. And Cody Travis is able to even it up. But he's definitely behind. 
That was good positioning and timing from Cody, though. He knew that Sandstorm was going to kind of get stuck on the wall over there when that recovery came out. We talked about the D-Light and the N-Light nice. locking you in place on the blasters. Ooh. The recovery has long active frames as well. They're kind of going back to back, almost like Charlie's Angels on that one. Yeah, trying to get that uh, poster shot. Cody Travis, though, getting some great shots onto Sandstorm. He's starting to get these punishes, but Sandstorm immediately end light into the recovery. Needs one more hit. D-Light, ground pound, Sandstorm about to take game number two. Cody spawning in on his final stock this game. Able to pick up the weapon quickly. Has Sandstorm in the orange. Finds two hits on him. Just he's straight up running yeah. away. He doesn't know how to initiate on the Sandstorm. Every time he throws on a move, seems like... 40% of the time, maybe 50, maybe even 60% of the time, okay. he misses. That time, he picks up a nice one, and it's a KO combo, taking off the top. Cody, only about 50 points behind in terms of damage. Yeah, this is definitely doable for Cody Travis, but at the same time, Sandstorm just already adding up more and more damage. He hits the double Nair off the pivot. Down light dash jump recovery. He's one hit away. The side sig not going to connect Cody Travis with the soft punish, but he is so far behind. Again. He's done. And that right there, like, that's exactly why it's so hard to call these games 50-50. Like, any time that Cody Travis, like, evens up the stock, look at what happens. Like, they're even, but let's be real. Based on what we just saw, they ain't even. The, it's, it's just insane uh, how fast... Sandstorm is able to add up damage onto Cody Travis. Just like like you said, every single time Cody Travis finds uh, some damage onto Sandstorm, it's just immediately taken away. Any lead Cody Travis starts to mount, Sandstorm takes it away. And here we are, game number three. Sandstorm one game away from being crowned the Autumn Champion. Dude, look at how quickly he's adding this up. Cody already in the yellow. Sandstorm still fresh. Didn't get hit whatsoever. But... Cody on the edge. Oh, he sticks to the down sig a little too long. It has a lot of active frames on that one. And Sandstorm gets around, gets the punish, the side airs. Cody oh. didn't dodge. Oh, no. Cody's going to fall there. Sandstorm's feeling that. This might just be a real quick 3 0. I said this was going to be unforgettable, but I was expecting maybe uh, an insane back and forth unforgettable oh, no. fight, not just a complete stomp <laughs> by Sandstorm. I expected the memory to be that different. I can tell you right now, Cody Travis already wants to forget this. Like, this That's is going to be a nightmare for Cody Travis. Things are looking dire. Sandstorm feeling so good. He is going for the cheekiest of cheeky plays. I feel like Cody, after this set, is going to be like EU players after most lands, where they're like, what land? I don't remember a land. What <laughs> happened? What are you talking about? It's going to be like 2018 Daiku, where he just goes and sits in a corner. <laughs> oh, oh, my dude. God, dude. Oh, dude. Sandstorm's so good. Oh Chatters my, can sit down the if they think toss. we're talking about him too much. He's so nasty. Last stock here for Cody Travis. Can he overcome this massive lead Sandstorm has and close out game number three to take this to game four. He hits the recovery to deny the three stock at the very least. We were seeing Sandstorm attempt to get to away from that one as well, but Cody had the direction he was going throughout that recovery. Ton of active frames on that one as you continue just to kind of spin that orb around yourself. He's finding some good damage here. But, like, you know Punish. what can happen in a heartbeat. He finds that D-Light Cider, but you know what can happen in a heartbeat. He's definitely getting cheeky with it. Throwing out a lot of signatures, giving Cody Travis some opportunities to get some punishes. Gonna swap over to the Blasters. D-Light going for the Cider. Didn't have him in the KO range for the D-Light dash jump recovery. They're both doing, like, the same moves after one another. At least that time, Sandstorm didn't find a hit. Cody did. He has the recovery nice. there. Cody gets the spike. Yo, he might bring this one back. It's going to require literally near perfect, actually perfect Brawlhalla. Actually perfect and a half Brawlhalla here for Cody to take this one. Keep himself Woo! alive in the Woo! set. He's starting it off real nice. good. He grabs the blasters too. That's going to keep Sandstorm unarmed. Cody Travis. He's building up the damage. He's bringing this one back. Sandstorm starting to swing for it. Hits the down light though. Ooh, the fast fall underneath. Cody's in the red. Oh, he has to be so careful. Even though Sandstorm's in the orange, 
That down air setting up the edge guard situation. Okay. Tossing the scythe wide. He's Ooh. still able to pick it up. Almost gets the down signature. Cody still managing to add up damage. Weapon toss. Sandstorm is still going to have the blasters. Gets back no, on the stage. Cody! Cody, he's done. He almost saved him there. That's how confident Sandstorm felt. He's going to take that game. Take the set 3-0. Sandstorm yet again. Your 2021 North America Autumn Champion. What a heartbreaker for Cody Travis, man. He was so close to hitting the reverse three, but he just flew too close to the sun twice there. He doesn't get the wall touch for the reset where he could have survived. But man, Sandstorm playing out of his mind, closing it out 3-0 in the grand finals to be crowned the Autumn Champion, like you said. Goes there. I can't believe Sandstorm even went for that GC sidelight under the stage. What a filthy player. The best to ever do it. Look at the damage right there. You would look at that and think like, hey, yo, good for Cody. I think he won that one. You see 528 <laughs> damage? More for Cody Travis. Damage taken, 509. That's going to be less for Cody Travis. Damage for engagement.